What's going on y'all, VNNCC3 here, and welcome back to a brand new Lords Mobile video. I'm so glad y'all could join me on this special day. And just like the title says guys, not only are we going to research, but we're going to unlock and make a few of these tier 4 troops. I told you guys I was going to go with the heavy infantry build, mixed in with a little bit of range units. Meaning, I'm going to make probably 2 or 3 infantry units to every 1 range unit, because most of the tier 4 rallies don't have enough infantry units, and I don't mind being that guinea pig, right? Right? And so if you guys are curious, no, the actual unlocking of tier 4 troops isn't nearly as expensive in resources, times, or gems, or any of that stuff, as it is actually getting to there. It's the army defense, army health, and the army offense that takes the most amount of time, effort, and resources. And it's only like, what, 11.3 million gold to unlock this troop? And it's about 39 days. Real quick here, a question I commonly get asked is VNNCC3, how much money have you spent on this game? And here's the real talk answer, guys. It's around 6,000 US dollars. And a lot of folks, man, a lot of folks are going to make comments about that. And here's my most favorite comment I'm going to read. And I, I got to get into character for this, guys. <clears throat> got to pick my notes a couple times. All right. Okay, we're good, right? <clears throat> Me and NCZ3, ah, come on, bro. Like, like, um, you, there's no way. There's, there, there's no way you spent that much money. Like, quit lowballing it, man. Like, T10 troops are like a hundred million dollars, man. Like, congratulations. Your dad's credit. Like, look, man. A lot of these people are either one, just talking shit to talk shit, or two don't know what the fuck they're talking about, or three, have wrongfully spent their gems if they are already at T4 or really close to it. And you know, look, here's my typical response to those kinds of people. A large amount of gems I get are from the Colosseum, Treasure Trove, and many other things. Like here, I'll name a couple of them, right? Gold boxes that you get from your guild, and monster hunting. And that's just to name a couple of them, man. I've gotten hundreds of thousands of gems from gold boxes and just monster hunting alone but guys i don't want to be disheartening but here's the real truth okay it's going to cost you roughly eight to ten thousand us dollars to get to t4 by now in about a year it's going to be a little bit less but here's the real kick in the fucking nuts guys it is about 1800 fucking us dollars about 1800 guys not joking just to get the special buildings up to level 25 and i'm sorry if that's automatic quit i'm going to uninstall or whatever guys i just want to give it to you guys straight the only real unfortunate part about all this research is i only have a 10 percent research boost guys all i'm saying here is the research report is a really good pack to buy into if you're looking for the cheap gold but the oracle's blessing pack is actually by far hands down unchallenged in my opinion right the absolute best gem pack to buy into if you're looking for things like speed ups uh boost all that good stuff it's got at the hundred dollar pack it gives you a 20 percent training boost which is absolutely amazing a 20 percent if i'm not mistaken a 20 percent building boost which is pretty it's pretty okay a hundred percent gathering boost a freaking 20 percent guys this is the mind-blowing part 20 percent research boost it has three three day speed ups as well so as far as bang for buck the Oracle's Blessings is by far the absolute best gem pack in my opinion. I went ahead and I bought the research report before the Oracle's Blessings came out. And then the migration scrolls dropped. And I'm like, well, my allowance for the month is kind of spent. So I can't really do much about that, guys. But I wanted to give you guys the heads up about that. There's a lot of debate between the research report or the other stuff, guys. If you're looking for speed ups, if you're looking for research, all that good stuff, Oracle's Blessings is by far the best pack in my opinion. We're going back to our academy, selecting the heroic fighter, and we're gonna research that bad boy. That's what I'm talking about. Hit that guild help. And pro tip, guys, really quick, I'm gonna loop this portion of the video one more time because I need time to explain this portion. A lot of guys ask me all the time, VNNCZ3, do I need to constantly wear the relics when I do a research on my buildings? The answer is no. Once you get your timers locked in and you hit that build button or that research button, you're free to do whatever you want to do with your gear. There's no penalties whatsoever. The only penalty you suffer is from gathering. It does a two check process. That's before you leave and when you arrive. So you want to make sure you wear all of your gathering equipment. As soon as you hit all your destinations, you're free to take it all off and do whatever you want to do with your gears. The same applies for your talent points. So you can feel free to respec after you get your timers if you're on a longer building or research. Pro tip of the day, and I'm pretty sure most people actually do this, but in case you don't, I did this for my level 9 and level 10 researches, and that's wait till there's a hell event. 
specific only to research or buildings or whatever it is that you're trying to max out because the stage three events usually have a really big payoff not to mention you usually score really high up there in the ranks when you're maxing that out special shout out to Bonquisha for lending me 10 million gold so I could start my heroic cannoneer research let's collect these turf quest rewards and I wanted to show you guys what it takes to make just and I'm talking about just a batch of 5,000 tier 4 troops this goes for the infantry ranged cavalry and the siege is the absolute worst but it does require 5 million food and either 5 million stone 5 million wood or 5 million ore those are actually the easy parts and i say destroyers are the worst because it requires 5 million of each of those resources and here's the real kick in the nuts though it requires 2.5 million gold 2.5 million gold to just make 5,000 of these tier 4 troops. That is the real kick in the junk. Thank you so much for tuning in today. I really hope y'all got some value out of this video. And if you liked it, then please hit that like button and don't forget to tell a friend. I cover everything from free to play all the way up to high end gameplay. And I even have a Coliseum series where I share all of my tips, tricks, and strategies so that you can also obtain rank 1 in the Coliseum. So if you want to be notified when I upload videos, then please hit that subscribe button. But if you're already a subscriber, I want to give a huge shout out to y'all because of all the crazy support y'all been giving me. And I'm telling you guys, it really does mean the world to me and it gives me the drive to continue to upload Lord's Mobile videos. But y'all know what I'm talking about though. Love peace and chicken grease. Be safe, but above all, stay classy.